Okay, this is the um, Ozzy Callanan and lid motor uh, circuit that I put together here, and this is part two of it. And yesterday when I showed the circuit on the other video, this was incorrect. This went over here yesterday, and it really needs to go around the 1K pot and 100 ohm resistor. But I, I changed things today. I took the solenoid away and just used a regular electromagnet. Uh, it's a bolt with 26 gauge wire wrapped around it that I got from Radio Shack. Nothing fancy. And I just put it on a board. And that's my radiant oscillator right there. That's all you need, folks, to see this radiant oscillator energy recovery. That's it right there. There's a little coil. It's just a bolt with wire wrapped around it. There's a couple of Radio Shack read switches that you get at Radio Shack. Just put them in parallel. And then follow this circuit here. You, know, you can freeze frame it. I'll go real slow here and take a look at it. It's nothing fancy. It's very, very, very simple. Um, I don't know, a few bucks and you've got one of these radiant oscillator circuits with the CFL. Now, this is what I added. This is all uh, Aussie stuff up here. This is what Aussie came up with. And then I added the CFL part of it. But uh, anyway, yeah, here it is. And it's, um, that's it. That's all, all you need right there. And it works. So let me turn it on and listen to this. Don't hear much, do you? But that is drawing 70 milliamps. And that loading up a capacitor right there. And that uh, light is glowing right there. And let me turn the radio on so you can hear it. It's staticky sound. It sounds just like static. Let me unplug it here. Unplug it. See, the radio's on right now. You can hear a little bit of the oscillation, but it's basically a static. And I think all that is is these reed switches arcing in there. And that, uh, that sparking is part of the reason this radiant energy happens. But uh, anyway, um, I'm going to turn the light off here and watch the capacitor go up. There goes the capacitor, just climbing right on up. I'm using a capacitor rather than a battery, but I ran this all day long, uh, actually using a little solar panel, and it ran just like a champ. And uh, this neon is going to come on. There it goes. There goes the neon. Now this is uh, to protect the transistor right there. It's just like in the Bedini circuit, same thing. It discharges to protect the, uh, the transistor that comes on at high voltage when there's no load on it. Okay, there's the capacitor. This goes on up. It goes up to 90 some odd volts. I was just watching it and uh, does its thing. I'll turn the, the light back on here. And uh, that's energy coming back out of the capacitor that was stored up. And you see the neon is out now. Now, this is amp draw here. Like I say, it's it's not great. I mean, the, the relay charger that uh, Emotip came up with uh, uses less uh, amps um, by quite a bit. But this is very uh, quiet, and it's very simple, and uh, just something different. Now, the CFL part of it, this is where you get the gain on it. Um, it's just a standard CFL modified with the ignition coil here, just like the Emotip circuits. And I'm using a 100 ohm uh, wire round uh, resistor to control the uh, amp draw. And there goes the uh, light. I'll turn it on a couple times. And this is one thing uh, I do like. And there's my amp draw right there. That's uh, 20, 20 milliamps, 19, 20 milliamps. And I can make it go up or down with this. But what's interesting about this particular circuit, if I increase the load on that CFL, my charging goes up. And I haven't figured that one out yet. But anyway, you can hear this thing uh, not making any noise. I'll turn the radio back on, you'll hear it. It kind of whines and staticky. Now, the way it's adjusted, you can see this, there's a little magnet right here with a little arm. And you move the middle magnet up and down in front of the reed switches, and that controls the uh, the amp draw and the oscillation. Very crude, but it actually works quite well. Ozzy put them up here on top, 
but I just put this little arm here and just waved the little magnet in front of the reed switch to adjust it. But uh, anyway, that's that's quite something to have the whole the whole enchilada right there on a little tiny uh, you know three or four inch board, and uh, it does its uh, radiant energy charging. I was real, real glad to see this happen. You know, all the stuff that I fiddle around with all these months, and here it is, just, um, just a coil. That coil actually is a coil that I wound many, many months ago when I was working on pulse motors. It's just a bolt. There's no copper-coated welding rods, uh, nothing fancy. Just 26 gauge, uh, real fine. Uh, the red wire. If you go to Radio Shack, it's the red wire. Just wind it all up on a little bolt about an inch, inch and a half bolt, and then put your two reed switches on there, put them in parallel, and then follow the circuit, and you got a radiant energy charger with a CFL if you want it. So anyway, that's, that's the latest here. That's my project for today.